The main goal of this training is to give these guys that live here in Ramanguini an opportunity to work in their community. There's a lot of people coming in from outside the community to do repair works uh, due to the cyclones that have been here and what we're doing is we're providing these guys with the skills to be able to take on some of that work and work with some of the local contractors. Yesterday they asked if they could make a bed and I'd noticed uh, not far away from here sort of piled up on the side of the road was an old wooden bed so I asked the guys, I said, if you go and get that, then we'll repair that bed. So, because I think that if they can see that things like that can be repaired and they've got the skills to repair it, there's good opportunities for them to be able to fix things rather than just throw them away. And then based on what we did yesterday, the boys are today um, building a double bed from scratch. Um, yesterday, when we finished the bed, I said, so who, what are we gonna do with the bed? And they said, um, one of the older gentlemen that works here, Peter, he, he needs a bed. And he had actually come and had a look at it during the day and asked if we could put a bookcase on the end of it. So we actually put a bookshelf in the end of the bed. And then we put that on the ute yesterday and delivered it to, the, to Peter. And the boys had a real sense of achievement that they'd done something for this um, gentleman in the community that they really respect. So at the end of the day, if they're producing furniture uh, or things for themselves in their own houses or for their relatives or friends, um, that's a real incentive for them to, to do that. Over at Mill and Gympie, the guys in the men's shed there are already um, producing beds and selling them and the idea is to be able to produce furniture that can be flat packed and then sold within their communities here but also sold in other communities. I work at Mill and Gimby when I left school. I was working as a mechanic, motor mechanic. Uh, working at Mill and Gimby workshop as a motor mechanic. Uh, I didn't know what was lying ahead of me, but I kept on working. I learned from missionary Wild West that I worked with him at Mill and Gimby. 
after that I've seen changes now. I've seen what now is the day change when mission school was handed over, taken over to Alpa. So what I'm talking about is Nangala. Uh, I've seen and I've worked and I lived with everything what was changing in there. I didn't know but the superintendent told me. He said to me, come on, you're going to now in Brisbane to do your technical study. Which is my But I didn't know. I went to Brisbane, done the technical study as a boiler maker. And when I came back, one and a half, one, one year, nine months there, came back from Brisbane, then I became a boiler maker. That part I built with my Balanda friend, Wawa mechanic, when we built that part, the name Urban. And uh, that boat had a Yindi Yama. I've seen the day when we put all the bulky from Milan Gimbi into the barge. <laughs> What I know and what I've seen, what's been happening here, economic development, I've seen it and it's still happening today. I am employed by Alpa, just bringing in young people to to uh, participate here at the IJCP, uh, explaining to them what the RJCP is and they are learning everything. With my own eye, I am seeing that boys here and the girls, like ladies too, they are doing what we are aiming for. Because everything, what I'm working here, as long as other middle-aged people, we are teaching young people when they come in and we tell them you use with all the safety first, how to use vehicle, drive vehicle or use the tools, electrical tools, the safety first. I'm really proud. I'm, I'm really proud old man that I'm seeing things and I'm still here with the young, young people working along with my new friends, Palanda friends, working together and making our I mean, a better place to live and work. Balayan makan jahar nam dan makan dengan community ngor apa every community every young boys malam tu mah betul apa lah yang mereka kita mereka fit jamal.